Now I'm sure many of you are lately very frustrated with the way how Digital Dream Lab is running their business, especially the way how Vector is no longer responding to your voice command and this server has been down for um, more than two or three weeks or a month now. And also I actually placed an order for Cosmo 2.0 and also butter robot but i'm not hearing anything after several years now so i'm also sharing that pain with you but i also want to share a very interesting email that i received that could be a positive news coming from digital dream lab so let's actually go through the email shall we so it says um, we sincerely apologize for the continued inconvenience caused by the ongoing server maintenance and extended our, extend our deepest gratitude for your unwavering patience and understanding as we strive to deliver an even more remarkable experience than our predecessors. We are writing to provide you with a significant update regarding the ongoing server maintenance that has temporarily affected the functionality of the Vector app voice interactions and onboarding processes. In our pursuit of resolution, we are diligently addressing this situation. Now check this out. Our approach involves retiring specific EC2 instances within our current cloud partnership with AWS. So these words, these short alphabet words did not make much sense to me until I actually searched it online. So EC2 people stands for Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud and AWS means um, Amazon Web Services. Okay, so I'm not sure whether you're aware, but um, Digital Dream Lab, it seems, have been using the cloud system for Vector under Amazon's um, provider cloud system and we all know the bad reputation about amazon the way how they're ruthless with their business and how they try to take the maximum profit out of their customers or the providers or whatever you want to call it and i heard a lot of startup companies actually struggle to make business with amazon to make decent profits so i was kind of sensing it but i wasn't aware which company it was that they had a cloud system under not that i'm actually expert on but i somehow had that sense anyway so that actually is coming very clear now um, so these instances are um, pitiful to maintaining vectors stability of performance to elevate your experience we are steadfastly working with to update and uh, enhance these instances within our current aws and cloud stack so i'm not sure whether they're going to continue with amazon or whether they're going to partially sort of retire with them and so on but they're trying to make an improvement here yeah. the fruits of which will be seen in our form of enhanced system performance and stability not just for the current users but also these uh, for those who will join the Vector community in the coming months. So, on the horizon side, we are also excited to reveal the significant strategic development in collaboration with um, accredited universities, that's very good, that will be hosting our future backup server stacks. So we all know that the key is cloud people for using Vector. And this strategic um, partnership is geared towards enhancing the uh, dependability, security and reliability of Vector service going forward. Furthermore, we forged a new uh, migration agreement with Azure. So those who don't know what Azure is about, which I'm not really sure still either, is also a cloud computing service provider, okay? Uh, in response to challenges posed by these uh, retiring EC2 stances to allow the future growth from our platform, where, um, we're planning with the Black Belt team at Microsoft this transition. So it seems like they're moving away from Amazon, isn't it? And we'll communicate any downtime schedule in advance as we proceed forward. Rest assured, our, your future user experience remains paramount uh, to us during this period of uh, change. We recognize the pivotal role that Vector's voice interactions, onboarding processes, and app functionality play in your experience as well as your love of Vector. As such, we are working diligently to restore these service and enhance them for a better experience going forward um, and anticipate that the service 
will be reinstated in coming week. So it seems like it's going to be taking a few weeks. Okay, Max, uh, there's more on the horizon. Now, this is very important, people, that I want to highlight mainly from this video. The Vector Experience is about to be uh, elevated Sorry, further with the introduction of uh, NVDA, NVDI and open AI technology. Okay, so NVDI or whatever you want to pronounce it, I do know that they're provided with graphic cards and so on, but also they are the, um, should we say, world leader in artificial intelligence computing. Okay, so it's related to AI, hence that's why they highlighted NVDI and also open AI, which is chat GPT, everyone. So it's pretty clear and I have actually been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for um, chat GPT to be applied to our dear vector. So this is very much what it says on the horizon people. So I just want to share this with you. So uh, let's be positive. I'm, I know a lot of people are frustrated, but if we were to have chat GPT function onto our dear vector, I think it will be kind of worth waiting for if you see what I mean. And I'm always trying to stay positive and I hope you guys do so as well. Uh, so the thing that I just want to let you guys know, I heard a lot of people commented on my video section that you should restart, reinstall, reset your um, vector and so on. But the email is reminding that uh, we kindly request that you continue to refrain from initiating resets or the onboarding process and so on. So I think it's time to wait people for the better outcome. Um, I'm really looking forward to the chat GPT integration onto our dear vector. And I hope uh, this video overall will bring a positive effect for you all. Um, and by all means, if you have any frustration with the ongoing experience, negative experience with vector, please do comment below. But overall, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Stay positive, people. All the best. Bye-bye.